Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to talk a little bit about the current endgame of Tarkov and what I'd like to see added to spice things up a bit. Keep in mind, my ideas are just that. I'm not trying to change Tarkov for better or worse. I just want to float some ideas around and see how you guys feel about them. Let's get into it. So let's talk about the current Tarkov endgame and what that even means. When I say endgame, I mean what are we doing after we hit level 40 and max out our traders and hide out? Why do we continue to play the game at that point and what is our reward for doing so? I believe endgame is just as essential as everything else. You need objectives in place for your truly hardcore player base that wants to go above and beyond in your game. So what do we have now? To start, we have the Kappa Container Quest. That keeps people pretty dang busy as it does take quite some time to get one, completing basically every Every task in the game should reward you with something nice, and I believe the Kappa container fits the bill. I'd like to go ahead and state at this point that we all need to remember this game is in beta and things are constantly being changed and added. Again, this isn't a video about me griping, this is just a fun discussion. Now let's continue. So what else is endgame besides Kappa? Well there's always the many many skills you can max out to become a literal super soldier. I come from a very grindy background so I'm no stranger to spending way too many hours doing simple things. Even for me, I find it hard to actually want to pursue maxing out my skills skills. I've seen the rewards and they're nothing but beautiful, but for me, I just can't get into it. It would take me actual days of just walking around overweight for entire streams to max out strength and I just can't do it. So while maxing out skills is endgame, it's not for everyone by any means. Still, it's something to pursue after level 40. Besides Kappa, besides maxing skills, besides level 40 and maxed out hideout, our only other option, really, is to just pimp out our stash by grinding out money and stash value, filling up on ammo crates, item cases, weapon cases, etc making our stash as beautiful and valuable as we can. That is something I can spend endless hours doing, but I don't really think it's true endgame. This wipe, I've been grinding out money every week so I can give it away to the community on Win It Wednesday. Shout out to the Twitch stream. If you haven't already checked it out, consider doing so. Like I said, we give in-game items away every Wednesday, so come hang out and win stuff. So pretty much, that's what we have right now for endgame, apart from everyone making up their own fun. The game provides very few things at this time for true endgame. Once again, we're in beta, so the devs aren't done yet. Yet. We still have so much more to look forward to. I want to now get into the part of the video where I talk about what I personally would like to see come to Tarkov, the kind of endgame that I think myself and many others would enjoy. If you don't agree with my suggestions, that's totally fine. My opinion is no more valuable than yours. What I would like to see come to Tarkov is actually something they have already begun to add. One of the newest tasks added in the game is called the Stylish One. This task has you hunt down Killa 100 times. Your reward for doing so is the ability to purchase the Adik tracksuit for your character. This does nothing stat wise and is simply in the game to give you something to do and a cosmetic reward to show off. This one is pretty hardcore as you can easily expect to have to run over 300 interchange raids to get this done. I personally am not going to worry too much about this task right now, but this brings us into what I'd like to see more of cosmetic and other useless items that don't affect gameplay whatsoever but are rewards for hard work and perseverance. I want to take you back to my teenage years and talk a little bit about some of the games that changed my life. I'm talking about the classic Modern Warfare Halo 3 era of the Xbox 360 days. These games also had a similar idea as far as cosmetic rewards. Halo 3 had different armor your Spartan could wear and Modern Warfare has some seriously brutal weapon camo unlocks. MW had the amazing idea of rewarding you for using your gun of choice. They had challenges like 100 headshots with the AK for this weapon camo, 250 headshots for this one, 500 for this one, along with the classic and most brutal reward of a final gold weapon skin for getting those 500 or something headshots with each assault rifle, SMG, etc. It was amazing, truly, because you got to use your favorite weapon, whatever it was. The more you used it and killed with it, the cooler you could make it look, up to a point. This was before games started getting really flashy with their weapon camos. These days you can have Pink Panther M4s with neon green tigers on the side. Let me stress this is not the kind of thing that I am talking about wanting. I'm talking very tasteful, very serious woodland, desert, snow camos. It doesn't need to be bright and fruity, although I'm not opposed to a sweet red and black or blue and black as a final unlock. This kind of rewarding the player for using their favorite gun or guns is exactly what I think is necessary, especially in a game like Tarkov, where you have so many options for weaponry. Remember this is the game that has you excessively use shot 
shotguns and Mosins for tasking. Why not then reward players with camo unlocks for maining their favorite gun? I realize this is a slightly controversial opinion and could easily be done entirely wrong. I also understand the argument for realism. We love Tarkov because it's so brutal and feels so real. I would like to play devil's advocate for a second and remind everyone that not everything in Tarki is real, nor do we want it to be. Remember this is a video game. If it was 100% real, we wouldn't be running after breaking our legs just because we popped a painkiller, especially not while carrying 100 pounds of gear. It's just not realistic. We also have items like fake mustaches, alien masks, and even a glowing pumpkin head. These are just plain silly in such a game like Tarkov, but we love it anyway, and you don't have to use it if you don't want to. This is why I think some tasteful weapon camo isn't that much of a stretch. To expand on this idea, let's talk about some items that are coming to Tarkov in the future and some that are already in. The devs want to eventually add in compasses for us to use in-game, and we already wear watches, although they aren't very helpful. This is another cosmetic we could reward players. Imagine an optional task that rewarded players with a diamond-encrusted Rolex for surviving 500 raids in a wipe. You could add any number of serious cosmetic rewards for surviving labs 100 times or killing 100 PMCs with grenades, just playing the game. Players could have all these different hardcore cosmetic unlocks in the background while they just go out and enjoy some raids. Every day you get on, you can check and see how close you are to getting your new Rolex or Woodland Camo AS Val or whatever. Also, it just occurred to me that we already have a Golden TT pistol in this game, and you don't even have to do much of anything to get it. Just buy one off the flea. Weapon Camo in Tarkov isn't so crazy after all. In the end, this isn't the end-all be-all solution to endgame in Tarkov, but it sure is a fun as hell way to reward players for playing. No loot boxes, no microtransactions, just rewards for playing Tarkov. That's it for this one guys, I hope you enjoyed my rambling. Let me know how you feel about Tarkov Endgame in the comments below and remember to like and subscribe. I stream on Twitch as well so feel free to drop by and talk to me about this video or any others. I'm always up for discussion. Have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.